Hello, I'm going to show you how you can customize your Canvas dashboard and a few other helpful hacks. So on Canvas, every time you sign in, you are likely taken to your dashboard. So your dashboard has the co colorful course cards and pieces. If you are an elementary teacher, it's your home, it's your homepage, but it's the same thing. But whenever you get there, you have your courses here. You can always drag and drop to rearrange these items if you want them to be different. Like I would put my active courses, the ones I frequently visit, probably at the top, and maybe some of my not so important ones towards the bottom. Know that at the top is always going to show your published courses and then your unpublished courses are towards the bottom. And you can rearrange the order here as well. Your unpublished courses, no one can see those except for you until you publish them. So your students won't be able to get into those courses and do anything with the content until you make those published. And that is something that you will have to do anytime new courses are made for you when a grading period or term is ended and you have a new course to start working in. The other thing to know is that your courses in Canvas are generated actually at the start of the school year, but you may not see all of your different courses until we get closer to the end of one grading period and the start of another. So if I'm a teacher who teaches semester long classes or if I teach quarter long classes, your semester two class, your quarter two, quarter three classes are made in Canvas, but they won't show up to you until probably about a week or two weeks before the start of that next grading period. And we'll also always send out communication on when those will be visible. And let's say we get to that date and you get the email and you say that you should have access to your courses and you don't see them here on your dashboard. It might be that they're under your courses menu and you can customize the view so that your upcoming courses can be visible on the dashboard and then you can hide some of those courses that might be ending soon. So if I go to my courses menu, the dashboard will only show me a snapshot of my courses, especially if I'm enrolled in a lot of them. My courses menu will show me everything that I'm enrolled in and hopefully your list is a little bit better than mine. But I'll go to all courses and then from here, this is where I can customize. So if I don't wanna see all of these different items on my dashboard, like maybe I have some courses that are from a previous school year. I can always figure out what those school years are because they have terms here, but I can go through and I can unstar the ones that I don't want to show up on my dashboard. And then if I go further down, school year courses from way back when will also be listed on past enrollments. But that's a way that I can hide some of my courses from my view and declutter some of them and keep the ones that are active for this term towards the top of my list. The other piece is that if you happen to sign into Canvas and you feel like a course is missing, it might be that it isn't starred. If the course isn't starred, then it's not going to show up on your dashboard. So that's just another helpful hint here. If you want it to show up on your dashboard, you do need to make sure that it is starred. All right, so those are just some helpful hacks for managing your dashboard, especially as we get to one grading period ending, another one starting. If you have more questions, please let us know.